Hello everyone, just uh, another quick video from me. Uh, painted up a load of stuff for some Call of Cthulhu skirmish gaming, uh, either using Pulp Alley or 7TV, um, both of which are great sets of rules. Um, so uh, well, re well uh, worth checking out if you haven't and you want a bit of fun skirmish stuff. Um, these are all uh, crooked dice miniatures. So on the left here, we have a Shoggoth. That's a resin miniature. Uh, painted up completely, I think, with contrast paints. I don't think I used any normal paints on that one. And that was fun. It was just basically deciding what colours to use. Um, I think it looks particularly disgusting, which is what I was aiming for. So uh, then we have some, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, deep ones. It, these are deep ones that are basically purebred fish people. Uh, got a very froggy look to them. These are a mixture of uh, contrast paints and um, um, normal paints. Uh, again, fun to paint. Uh, quite characterful. Then we have uh, the denizens of uh, Innsmouth. If you know you call a Cthulhu, that'll mean something to you. And these are um, half-breed fish people, I would say. So, yeah, normal humans and deep ones have been up to no good, and this is the result. Um so we have a group of uh, fishermen, the mayor of Innsmouth, uh, an old an older lady, fisher wife, and in the, at the front of the uh, fishermen. And then we have a group of um, worshippers of Dagon. Again, these are all uh, half-breeds for... Um, Cthulhu, but they're probably more more deep one than human. These guys are. Uh, this guy here, if you can see at the back here, little, he's got a few tentacles. Which for um, Cthulhu, you've got to have tentacles. Uh, see if she'll. No, she's not. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, so she's got a book made out of flesh um, with uh, all the incantations in it. Uh, I haven't decided yet on my basing scheme. Uh, it's one of those, I didn't know whether to just do like a sandy theme or um, a normal sort of uh, uh, ground theme. Or just leave it something blank and maybe just do it in greys or something. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll have to wait and see. Um, we're not planning on doing any games soon, so it gives me some time to to sort things out for this. But yeah, these were great fun. Highly recommended as miniatures as well. They're they're super deep. You know, loads of detail. Take the paint really well. Yeah, if, if you want some pulp stuff. Um, or indeed anything adventure-wise, if you're into a bit of adventure gaming... Uh, go and check out uh, Crooked Dice Miniatures. Absolutely superb. Anyway, guys, I'm off again. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.